Every device around us is designed to grab our attention. Notifications, tabs, endless feeds. It's easy to get pulled in and lose focus on what actually matters. I wanted a screen that does the opposites. This is my e-ink productivity dashboard powered by a Raspberry Pi. It displays the information I care about and helps me stay organized and focused throughout the day. In the last video, I built a calendar plugin that visualizes my schedule. In this video, I'm adding 5 new plugins designed to help me stay productive, including a to-do list, a date countdown, a year progress bar, and more. If you're new here, this is part of a series where I build new plugins and features for my open source projects. This project supports ePaper displays from both Pimeroni and Waveshare, runs on a Raspberry Pi 02W, and fits neatly inside an IKEA picture frame. It also has a web UI that allows you to customize the display and schedule automatic refreshes to switch between plugins. For a full tutorial on the hardware and software setup, you can check out my previous videos. First on my to-do list is a to-do list. I wanted a simple way to visualize and organize my tasks so I can stay focused on what's important throughout the day. I start by creating a new plugin in the web UI and added text boxes for the to-do and done columns where each task can be entered on a separate line. Then I define the HTML and CSS to display both lists side by side. Using this layout, I can generate an image by capturing a screenshot with Chromium in headless mode and display it on the screen. And here's how it looks in action. Once I had the basic version working, I wanted more flexibility, so I added the ability to create up to three lists, each with custom names. This allows you to customize the list based on your preferences and workflow. I also added more customization options like a title, list style, and font size. Putting all of these together, this is the final result. A fully customizable to-do list that can also be used to display goals, shopping lists, or just about any kind of list you want. The plugin also supports a vertical layout, and if a list exceeds available space, it displays the number of items hidden. For the next plugin, I wanted a day countdown display to track important dates like holidays, anniversaries, or deadlines. The interface for this one was pretty simple, just the title to name the countdown and the target dates. I implemented the logic to calculate the remaining days, then defined the HTML and CSS to display the title, target date, and countdown. In the style options, you can customize the background and text colors or even upload your own background image. Using these settings, here are a few example countdowns I've put together. Every time the screen refreshes, it automatically recalculates the days left based on the current dates. You can also flip it around to show the number of days passed since a given date, which can be useful for milestones, streaks, or anniversaries. Before moving on to the next plugin, a quick word about today's sponsor, Terminal. If you're enjoying these e-ink productivity plugins in action, Terminal is a device designed for exactly that. Terminal is a 7.5-inch, 1-bit e-ink display designed to keep you informed and focused, helping you stay in the flow states. Terminal is powered by plugins and has a marketplace with over 78 first-party plugins plus hundreds of more private ones, including similar plugins from this video and much more like a calendar plugin, weather dashboards, or quotes from the office. On the Terminal dashboard, you can schedule playlists and even create mashups that combine multiple plugins into one view. Terminal is also open source friendly and allows you to create your own plugins, bring your own devices, or even create your own backend. It's also battery powered and has an impressive battery life that lasts between 2 months and 1.5 years per charge, depending on how frequently you update the screen. Terminal is available in black, white, and clear cases along with a few special edition colors, and even has an upcoming 10.3 inch version called Terminal X that's now available for pre-order. If you're interested, check out the link in the description to grab one yourself with a special discount code for $10 off your order. Thanks to Terminal for supporting this channel and helping us stay productive and focused. For my next plugin, I wanted to recreate GitHub's commit graph, the grid that shows your activity over the past year. I thought it would be a nice way to keep myself motivated on personal projects and be more consistent. To do this, I first needed a way to pull data from GitHub using their API. In the GitHub console, I created a new token, giving it the read user scope, which allows access to read my contribution data. Then I stored the token in a .env file to read it at runtime. Next, I defined the new plugin, giving it the GitHub icon and added an input field for the GitHub username. Then, in the backend, I used GitHub's GraphQL API to query the number of contributions per day for that user and implemented the logic to parse the response. 
After some vibe coding, I defined the HTML and CSS to recreate the commit graph with five different shades to represent contribution levels for each day, and here's how it turned out. Building on top of that, I added a title and some stats alongside the commit graph showing contributions for the past year as well as the current and longest streaks. To make sure it looks good across different backgrounds, I also added an option in the UI to customize the graph colors. Here's an example with a dark background. For my fourth plugin, I wanted to visualize how far we are into the year, a quick way to see progress and stay focused on my goals. After looking around for inspiration, I came across this widget that had a progress bar and showed how many days were left in the year, so I decided to recreate it. The implementation was fairly straightforward, I calculated the percentage and days remaining based on the current day, then visualized the progress bar. With a bit of vibe coding, this is how it came out. It's a simple plugin, but it's been a nice motivator as we get closer to the end of 2025. Speaking of progress, I'm trying to reach 20,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so if you made it this far, consider subscribing and liking the video to help reach my goal. For my final plugin, I wanted a way to stay informed and catch up on the latest news without having to grab my phone or scroll through Twitter. The project already has a newspaper front cover plugin, but it's fairly static and just gives a snapshot of a few headlines for the day. Instead, I decided to build an RSS feed plugin that can automatically pull live data from any source. If you're not familiar, RSS is a web feed format that lets you fetch new content from websites like news sites, blogs, or forums. To get started, I added an input box for the RSS feed URL. Then, in the backend, I used Python's feed parser library to fetch the feed and parse the title, description, and image for each item in the feed. From there, I rendered the entries as a list, which is then displayed on the screen. And finally, I added some customization options like setting a title, hiding images, or adjusting the font size, and here's the finished result. And those are the 5 new plugins now available for Inkypie. They've helped me stay focused, productive, and more intentional with how I spend my time. They also look great on the 13-inch Inky impression, and the web UI lets you build a playlist to rotate through plugins and refresh them on a schedule. With these additions, Inkypie now has a total of 20 plugins and a growing open source community. You can find the GitHub repo down in the description if you'd like to contribute or build one yourself. If you have any suggestions for new plugins or any feedback, make sure to leave a comment down below. And a special thanks to my latest Patreon members, Gregory Russo and Kimo T for supporting the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.